from March 9th to March 30th, the Queens County Arts Council is having a month-long exhibition featuring visual artists Sally Clark, Rick Kahn, and Joan Newby. The exhibition is called Wild Domestic Wearable. This video is part two of our three-part series on the exhibition. In part one, we talked to Joan Newby, the jeweler. If you missed that interview, you can go and find it on our YouTube page. In this episode, we have our second interview, and it's with Rick Kahn, a visual artist. Okay, tell us who you are, who you are please, and what are you showing here? Uh, my name is Rick Kahn, and I'm showing some of my bird paintings. I was looking at the art earlier, and some woman asked me, what is uh, gouache? Gouache is... Which is what? It's the medium. It's... The easiest way of explaining it is it's similar to, say, opaque watercolor. This is a water-based medium like watercolor, right. but it's, it's opaque, and it, which means it has much more pigment so that you can do a lot more with it. You can build up the image where you, you, know, where you can't with watercolor. So it's watercolor. It has a 3D effect to it. Yes, it, because it's opaque, you can build it up, you can overlay it, you can do more things than you could with watercolor, which stays basically transparent. Are you constantly painting things? Do you have a hundred projects going on, or one at a time, or what? Well, I, I, do, I not only do the, the wildlife paintings, but I also do figure paintings, on can, oil on canvas, okay. which are really big, and they take a lot of time. So between the, between my birds and the, and the figure work, it, it keeps me pretty busy. Um, where, where else can we see your work? Uh, I, I'm, in a, I'm in Riverview Gallery in Haverty Grace. Um, Right now, uh, this is this is the sh this show this month. In May, I'm going to have a show in Bethesda, and I have a figure show booked in Annapolis for 2014. But 2014. That, yeah, February of 2014. Are you are you as popular across the bridge, or does it really matter? Yeah, uh, these birds are doing pretty well in Annapolis. Mm -hmm. um, they've done a, done pretty well in Haverty Grace so far. This is almost a dumb question, but compared this large picture to the three small birds there. How long do they take? Uh, actually, believe it or not, they took roughly the same amount of time. Oh, wow. Well, because the chickadees are so much smaller, it takes time to, even though there's not a lot of detail, you still have to get the colors right. Well, I remember you built yeah. things up. It was yeah. layer by layer by layer. And with the egret, because the paper was dark, I'm using the, I'm using the, the color of the paper right. as part of the shadow. Right. So this paint is actually thinner than this, so it's less building it up to get the same effect. Right. Plus the texture of the paper, uh, right. would you see only where we, you want us to see it? Yeah, yeah. Each, each painting takes about two or three hours of concentrated painting time. That's after I get the drawing on the paper and get set up, you know. Right. Tell us about any websites you might have. Uh, the, my, my wildlife website is rickconwildlife.com. All one word, R-I-C-C-O-N-M. Mm -hmm. uh, and the figure website is rickcon.com. Thank you very much. Just a reminder, the Wild Domestic Wearable Exhibition at the Queen's County Arts Council will run from March 9th to March 30th. So head over to Centerville and check out some of this art. If you want to learn more about the Queen Anne's County Arts Council, you can always visit their website at www.artsforyou.info. Thanks again for watching.